everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So today I've got an unbagging and this is a company that is new to me. I've not tried them before, but uh, they have been uh, around for quite a while. It's everydayedeals.com. Um, I think it was an advert that came up on Facebook uh, as you do your late night browsing and I saw a few bits that I quite liked. So let's get into it and have a look. I've opened the end so that I could see who it was from because I am very naughty and I have got a lot of packages coming. I'm going to have to stop all these late nights, I think. <laughs> okay, so it's quite a nice little haul, this one. Oh, oh. And there's still another one in there as well. Yup. Okay. Right, so we've got that one. We've got that one. Ooh, look at all these. Wow. I think this could be quite a long video. Becky Thumb. I don't remember ordering all this lot. <laughs> okay, so let's put these on one side for now. Um, and we'll go through those. So what shall we look at first? So let's look at this one because this one was on the top. Okay, so it's come a little bit squished. The box has got a little bit open, but uh, it is. It says diamond painting lamp. There you are. Uh, new experience. So this will be interesting. <laughs> and it's a lovely little Santa waving. Okay. Um, I've seen these on a couple of sites and I've got a funny feeling that I've ordered one from somewhere else as well. Exactly the same. So, uh, yes, uh, daughter, you may be getting another duplicate from me. <laughs> That's the one good thing when you've got uh, diamond painters in the family. You can always pass things on. <laughs> Okay, so that's everything out of the box. Let's have a look at this. So, oh, he's a lovely, happy Santa. Look at that. Wow. Okay. And he's acrylic. Oh, right. And on the back. Oh, right. Look at that. Well, that's clever. So rather than having to put the little lights on yourself, he's all, he's got like an extra plastic um, like skeleton, I suppose, on the back. And all the lights are inside there. Oh, that's good. Oh, that saves faffing about, right? Like that. Got some gems. Uh, it's a basic toolkit, up oh, with some bags. No multiplacer, but I mean, that's all you need to do with the project. So we'll pop that down there. We've got a little battery pack. So it takes three, looks like they're double A batteries. And then the back to the battery pack has one of these like suction cups on it so if you wanted to stick it to a window or wherever uh, yeah you need I'm not always brilliant with these things I tend to find that they either stick really really well and you're not going to shift them for love and money um, or they don't stick at all and you're constantly trying to re-stick them but we'll see how this one goes looks like it should have a little screw that goes in there but i've not seen a little screw anywhere albeit because the box was open oh, there's nothing else in that box it could have fallen out in the bag so i'll have to once i've got the bag empty we'll have a good look through there let me see if i can find some batteries okay good old amazon really do sell everything i've got amazon basics batteries <laughs> Oh, I can't get them out of the packet. So we want three of these. Oops, oh, they're alive. Get over there, you. Yeah. Right. So, fingers crossed this works, because it's the first time I've taken it out of the box. So, let's have a look. Can I see which way around these batteries? Because it's usually... Oh, no, they're the triple A's. They're not the double <laughs> just get some triple a batteries i will be back in a second okay i'm back let's try that again more amazon basics batteries but these are the triple a batteries <laughs> so let's have a look at these <sighs> sorry i'm out of breath now <laughs> run up and down the stairs oh look i can't get into these <sighs> 
Right. Okay, wasn't expecting to need batteries. Right. So that's one, two, three, uh, and oh dear. Ah, right, I just don't, didn't have them picked in. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, and that's a really good on-off switch as well. It's got a really good click on. Okay, does it do different things? Oh, it does. It, flash, it flashes sort of, unless it's just um, got a bit pulled. I don't know whether this is, uh, let's get those batteries in. I think we may have a loose connection or a loose battery connection because if I touch the batteries, it goes on and off. <laughs> then don't touch the batteries, Liz. I can hear you all shouting at me. <laughs> okay, so that just goes on there. So it goes off and he goes back on. Yay! Okay, I like that. Oh, he's gone off again. Oh dear. No, I think we've definitely got a loose connection, but I do like the idea of him. Um, yeah, I think I'll just have to watch the batteries. That is quite heavy actually now with those three batteries in. So whether that will actually stick on a window uh not sure i'll give it a try and i'll let you know but uh, yeah i'll just switch him off anyway so you can see him a bit better so lovely clear drill field it has got training circles around it um or guide circles sorry people don't like them called training circles <laughs> whoops um yeah so got your boots and uh, your little coat and everything so let's have a quick look at the gems looks like a doorbell that that's a really good on off switch though so it's a real shame that uh, it's a little bit dodgy. Hmm, okay. Well, oh look, he's gone. Oh, maybe it's the switch that's a bit dodgy. Just leave him a minute and see what he does while we have a look at these. Oh, he's staying on now. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's nothing that I can't handle. Um, I'm just trying to think, how much was he? It was a bit more pricey. Yeah, he, he was $13.99. So what's that work out to? Uh, probably about between 10 and 11 British pounds. So mm, yeah, it should really work for that price. But I do like the idea and I love the idea that the lights are all on the underside, sort of in, in an encased skeleton. All enclosed there, so you're not having to mess about with the lights and you're not worrying about where to put them, so it shines best. But he will definitely be going up this Christmas, whether he lights up or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as soon as you go near it. Okay, anyway, right, so let's have a look at these. Oh, nice and sparkly. Oh, look, we've got two nice uh, half sphere pearls there. I presume this is number 10. Yeah, so we've got a spare one there, so that's always really good. Okay, we've got some like bronzy gold colour, sort of a pinky red, your standard black, which you've got your silver backs, which always makes me laugh because I think, well, they're just plain black on the other side, but anyway, it's okay. I still use them. <laughs> uh, another brownie colour and a very yellow gold, a deep red and a cherry red. And your standard silver and then your AB white. So they are lovely. So, yeah, I'm quite impressed with him. I think he's uh, a nice little chap. Yes, we like him. Okay, so let's get those put back in. I think I'll put him back in the box for now. Um, and we'll see how we go. I'm going to leave the batteries in because I'm going to have a play with him later on and see if we can sort him out. So that's number one. And then let's have a look at the other box, which is box number two. And you'll probably guess what this is because we do tend to have uh, 
similar things in similar boxes and I've had these in these boxes before and waffling. Uh, so it's a wall hanging diamond painting with lights. And this one I decided it's not Christmas. It's a nice strawberry wreath. Well, I hope it is anyway when I open the box. <laughs> I'm really disappointed if it's not. I'm trying not to buy all Christmas because, um, as Hubby pointed out, we haven't really got that much wall space to keep putting all these things that you're buying. <laughs> so, yay! It's a strawberry wreath. It's an acrylic wreath. Let's just pop the box out of the way. And so another basic toolkit uh, with a few extra baggies, no multi-placer. And again, this one is light up, but this one you have to decide where to put the lights. So let me just have a look. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think it was Mindy's video that I watched. Um, and she's obviously a lot more observant than I am. Mindy's Diamond Moments. And as you can see, around the edges, there are these, yeah, you can just see that, little holes. And that's where you thread your lights through. <laughs> I was thinking you'd just wrap them round and do it that way. But no, you, you do um, actually thread them through those. So that's your little light thing now. I wonder what batteries that one takes. I'm not going to put batteries in this one. Just, uh, we don't want to do any more flashing. <laughs> but that looks like double A batteries. Mind you, I said that about the last one and it wasn't. Uh, how do I get into this one? This one doesn't want to come open. I suspect it goes up there somewhere. Right, no, I'm not going to mess with that anymore. Um, I'll get my glasses on properly and have a look. But they do look bigger batteries. Um, oh, it actually says, look. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can catch that there. It, yeah, oh, there you are. This does actually say double A batteries. So this takes two double A batteries. <laughs> okay, so strawberry wreath was... <clears throat> $17.99, which I think will work out between £13 and £14. I'm no good at conversions without a calculator or without a conversion chart, so uh, if I'm wrong on that, I do apologise. But I just thought this was super. I just loved the idea. I think I might put this in my kitchen, um, and I may even put like a little clock mechanism in the middle. I know you get um, your little hanging bit to go in it, uh, your little strawberry. But I think this would just make the nice outline of a clock, really. But we'll see. But yeah, a nice clear drill field there, look. And all your little white flowers for your strawberries. But I just thought that was really fresh and nice looking. And uh, yeah. Oh, we've even got strawberries, look, that haven't ripened yet. Just to make it a bit more realistic. I just really, really like that. It's another one of these strange ones where you get a free key ring with a wreath. Um, I'm not quite sure why you get the key ring with it. I mean, I like having the key ring. I think, yeah, thank you very much. We like freebies. Um, but yeah, you, you get a free pineapple key ring with this one. <laughs> so we go from good old British summertime with strawberries to a pineapple. But okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, you've got your little uh, chain there to go through and your huge lobster claw, claw clasp. To hang it with so just a little extra i mean yeah it's good fun to do and again acrylic with the white background so well let's oh, i've got the papery background on this one it's just like a tinted background there so yep so that's your key ring we'll put a pin back in there and then you have where's it gone <laughs> the big strawberry to hang which you Again, they didn't give you anything to hang this with. Um, I think invisible thread, fishing wire, whatever would be best. Where's the hole for it to hang from? Oh, it's there. It's there. Sorry, my eyes aren't. Uh, oh, 
miles out of the way of the camera there as well. My eyes aren't brilliant today, but yes, so your big strawberry will hang there. But as I say, I quite fancy the idea of just putting a little clock mechanism inside that one. Okay, so that's your little extra to do as well. And they've given us the sticky pads on this one, so these will go uh, onto the back of it. Now this, yeah, it hasn't got a white back, so those are going to, you know, you'll have to position them properly, they will show through. But I have bought some um, hangers, but I just thought these would be quite good. They're called Smart Hooks. Seriously strong stuff. <laughs> and I thought they would be quite good for just hanging it because it will be disguised behind there. Um, and they're those that they're removable. So like the command strips, you can take them off and they're not going to mark your walls and it will come off the back of this as well. So that's just a little extra that I've got as well. Amazon's amazing. I just, I think I, I'm on my Amazon man's Christmas card list now because he comes to this house so often. <laughs> Right, okay, uh, it has a lovely strong chain, which, uh, yeah, I just think the chains are really pretty. As I said, I think in one of my previous videos, it's quite nice as a bracelet, that. Not that I would use this as a bracelet, but, uh, yeah, and then that just clips through the two larger holes there. Again, a nice lobster claw clasp, so you're not worrying about, like, those round things that you have to prise open and spend ages and break your nails and everything. So... A nice little set this and let's have a quick look at the gems okay I know it's probably not an appropriate one particularly to get in um winter well no we're in autumn aren't we but uh, yeah I mean to be honest the amount of Christmas things that I've bought at the moment by the time I get around to this one it probably will be spring summer anyway <laughs> Okay, ooh, look at those. Very sparkly, like those. Big teardrops, look, with an AB coating. Real oil on water effect on those. Really pretty, really sparkly. Ooh, and then we've got some large ones for the middle of the daisies. Faceted large rounds, they're good. And then what's these little teeny tiny, oh, look, little teeny tiny stars. I've had these bigger, but I don't think I've had the smaller ones, like a pearl eyes star. They're really pretty. So where do they go? Number 11. <clears throat> Where's number 11? Where's number 11? You watch, I won't be able to find it now. Uh, uh, ooh, okay. I can't see a number 11 number 11 then oh i bet that goes on the pineapple i bet number 11's on the pineapple let me have a look yay number 11's on the pineapple <laughs> oh dear yeah <laughs> i'm thinking well i can't see a number 11 on here and why would there be little white dots but no there isn't little white dots the little white dots are your uh, like delves on your pineapple oh dear Fun and games today, right? So let's just have a look at the crystal gems. Okay, so we've got a lovely gold colour. I bet that's the pineapple as well. We've got uh, a nice cherryish red or a strawberry red, and that's like an orangey red, and a few different greens. We've got four different green shades, so that's really going to pop when they're all on. The contrast on that's going to be lovely. And then look at those little tiny. And they're like little tiny teardrops and I think they're going to be all the little extras on the strawberries. So yeah, they're all like the little markings on the strawberries to make them look a bit more realistic. Wow, they're going to take some doing. That's a big bag of those. Good job I've got my magnifying glass to be able to do those with. Okay, so that is project number two. Put those back in the box so that I know where they are. Okay. Right, and now let's get on to some of these canvases and see what I ordered. Um, I think this is going to be quite fun. So, first one. Let's see, let's see. 
this is a huge haul. I hope you've got a cup of coffee to sit and watch these. Okay. Right, the first one. Oh, yes, I remember this one. Right. Yeah. Let me just see if I can flatten it out a bit. Run it back a bit. Let's get those creases out. It's a very, very stiff canvas, this one. It's a poured glue, so you can sort of play about with it a little bit. Just uh, we'll roll it back as well. Don't know whether rolling these back does a lot of good when it's such a stiff canvas, but we can try. But it'll just go under something um, heavy. Oh gosh, my brain went then. Oh, that didn't take much doing either. So let's just flatten this top plastic out. And it's just a lovely sign that says home. And I've seen this one done. Um, I'm sorry, I can't remember whose it was that I saw. I will always try and give a shout out to people um, that I come across, you know, that I'm seeing things and doing things from because I think that's only fair. But yeah, but I just think that is a lovely canvas. I just like the colours of it. It's subtle. Some of them are a bit too in your face for me. Um, and that will just go above my coat rack, I think, in the hallway. But uh, I just like the fact that it's got like a lock on it as well. This is like, you know, put your key in and a come on in. And we've got the key there look as well. Um, we've got like a, I don't know whether it's supposed to be, but it's like a little peace sign there. And I just thought it was really, really pretty. We've got a little wagon wheel down there. This looks a bit like a little hose pipe here and like a honeycomb here. I just thought it just, it was just pretty enough for me to want to do this one um, it's a special drill and it's partial so it means that the canvas in the background you don't put any drills on but uh, you do put where it's sticky where the edges are and I will seal this one as well because it's going in the hallway uh, it tends to get a little bit steamy because we put coat, um, our damp coat so on the coat rack there because there's a radiator underneath so that sort of makes it a little bit damp sometimes in there so it's seven different uh, gems, so not many to do. Let's have a look. Uh, basic toolkit again, no baggies with this one. So, okay, pop that in there. Sorry, I've got a little basket down here. I found a, a charity that will take care uh, of spares of drills and pens and trays and things. Um, so I'm sending quite, well, I'm sending a lot off to them. It's such a soft colour palette, this one. And I just thought it was pretty. Uh, we've got lots. Oh, look at all those silver hearts. Just to enhance it all there. We've got your hearts for your like AB coated uh, rounds with no facets on. We've got an AB coated white round. We've got a green, which is quite a subtle green. And then a more muted green. A little bit of like an amber colour just to uh, highlight it slightly and then your plain silver which is just a really really pretty um, colour palette this one. I just fell in love with it when I saw that somebody else would do it so I had to go on the hunt for it to find it. Do you do that? I'm terrible at doing things like that. <laughs> okay so that's that one I ought to put my labels on but because I've got so many I'm not going to put the labels on now and um, we have got canvas number YO57 there and YO57 um, on the drills so if they do get separated I don't know where they go but I will be labeling all these up um, and putting them in my boxes so I know where they are so that's number one okay so ooh. Sorry, I've still got squeaky chair. <laughs> Let's get on to package number two. Um, I've got a funny feeling I, I've either miscounted or something, but there seems to be nine things in this packet and I only ordered eight, I think. So we may have a surprise, you never know. Okay, so let's see what this one is. Oh, yes. Let me just see. I think you can see what it is already, but it is very, very pretty. Another special drill. I think I ordered all these. Um, 
while I was doing smashing the specials in September. And uh, yeah, I've gone a bit special drill mad. Look how pretty this is. Oh, so another 30 by 40. Um, I didn't measure the other one, but you tend to find that you'll lose a few centimetres either side. 30 by 40 tends to be the full canvas size. Um, it's 11 different gems and it's a partial. And it's all special drills. So the background is, oh, that's a real rough background. Not quite as stiff as the last canvas. Um, but yeah, that's your sticky bits where you put in your gems. Let's see if I can just flatten this out a bit. And I have got a straightener somewhere. But as usual, it's downstairs. I've started doing Christmas cards, would you believe? Oh. Now, I'm waiting for a canvas to turn up um, to do for one of our neighbours as a thank you because they've been so good to us. Um, and just done some really difficult jobs that I couldn't manage on my own um, and who be with him being poorly can't do and they've done some jobs so I've, I've ordered a canvas for them and I'm waiting for that to come before I start on any big projects I'm doing Christmas cards at the minute anyway I'm making this video extra long but yeah I just thought this was gorgeous it's a little tiny stag I'm not a huge fan of the picture of the stag but I think once it's all blinged up, we've got like um, spring, summer, autumn, winter, all in its antlers, which is like a tree in its antlers, which I just thought was stunning. And once this is done, so you've got all your cherry blossom for spring there. You've got all your apples for summer. Then you've got all your fall leaves for autumn. And then for winter, we've got all snow with the little birds, just a couple of little birds. Oh, we've got a little bird there as well. Oh, and another one there. So it's going to be spot the bird while I'm doing this. And then even the grass, look, we've got snow and we've got grass as well that is stood on. So I just thought that was a lovely picture. I've not seen it before. And yeah, this one just fell into my basket. Okay, so let's have a look at the gems. Uh, basic toolkit, but with your plastic tweezers. I don't use these tweezers. Um, yeah. As I've said before, I think if you've got children and you don't want them to use the pointy tweezers, then they're probably brilliant. But to me, I just can't use them. I've maybe just got two big hands, I don't know. Anyway, speaking of hands, I am practically healed, but I have got quite a nice scar. I'm putting bio oil on it, so hopefully it will start fading. Okay, let's have a look at these gems. So we've got some huge half sphere reds, which they must be the centre of the apples, I think. Some very dark browns, an amber colour, a gold, a very pale yellowy gold, green, pink, black with your uh, silver backs. Got another brown colour there, a red and a blue. So, yeah, again, very, very pretty. Can't wait to do this one, but I will have to. Mindy um, is doing another smash in the specials, possibly next February, I think she said. So I may save it for then, because as I say, I've got so many projects. I don't know when I'm going to get them all done. So that one is uh, AK16, yeah. So that one's that one. I think the prices for these were all round about the £4, £4.50 mark for the canvases, which I thought was pretty good. Um, the postage was about £10 or £11, which, yeah, is quite high. But what I do with postage is divide the postage amount by the amount of parcels I've got. So if I divide this by eight, you're talking about £1.35ish per parcel and I think well if I was buying something and the postage was £1.35 would I buy it and probably yes so that's the way I work it out I don't look at the postage as a whole and think whoa nearly £11 for postage I'm not paying that I think well I'm getting a lot of packages um, and I do tend to use it as an excuse to buy extra as well which is really naughty of me because I think oh well if I'm paying that for postage I might as well get my money's worth <laughs> Okay, so, oh, we've got a penguin. 
with my little penguins. Okay. Right, let's get him out. Oh, look at that little face. He just really did speak to me. It's a 30 by 30, so you probably find this one will be about a 24 by 24, the actual canvas size. But yeah, he's just such a sweet little face. He looks like a little baby and he's saying, huh, Mum has given me my big brother's hat and it don't fit me, it's too big, but it's better than being cold. <laughs> Try and flatten him out a bit. Oh, he's just so sweet. That hat is huge on that poor little penguin. Okay. Well, it's straightened it out a little bit. But yeah, another special. And we've got 10 different gems on this one. Same toolkit as the last one. So they're fairly consistent with the toolkits. Uh, just the first two kits had a few little baggies in with them, but the canvases seem to be just fairly standard but again everything you need to do it Oops. crinkly packets right so these are, oh, look at the size of the numbers on there there that's brilliant you can practically see that from space it's so big hey <laughs> right so we have silver we have red, a nice deep red, oops, and we have a, like a blue, uh, and then we have an aqua, which is really pretty, Got like an orange there, yeah, that's on his hat, uh, black again, so they do like the black, they're just sort of like a standard basic black, but they have a silver background, but they do just look like you're playing 310 blacks when they're actually on the con canvas. They're not sparkly or anything. We've got like an ambery colour there. We've got, so if that's black, what's that one then? Is that one a dark green, do we think? Or is that the same colour? No, well, we've got a six and an eight. So I think possibly it's maybe, I can't say that it's a dark blue, but they do look very pretty similar, but... It is a little bit dark in here today. I do apologise. We've got very wet and windy weather at the moment. And that's uh, like a, ooh, a marquee with an AB coating. And some large half sphere uh, little um, pearls there. I'm just thinking, yeah, they're probably for the hat. But they've given us plenty of spares and we like spares. Okay. So, yep, yeah, we've got the canvas number on there. Yep, yeah, that's fine. I'm going a little bit faster through these because I think this video is going to be a mammoth one, so I don't want to bore you all. <laughs> okay. Right, on to the next one. So, this one. Okay, that one's just got an extra label stuck on it. Let's see, yeah, we had a mini tornado um, went through the village just two miles down the road from us on, what day I went today? Uh, I think it was Monday that it went through, so yeah, that was a bit scary. Uh, it took off a garage roof and uh, landed it in somebody's conservatory and it also turned over a camper van. So we don't usually get tornadoes in this country, so that was quite scary. It was a bit too close for comfort as well. Oh look, and speaking of tornadoes, now this one, this is one that I saw and I really, really wanted and I was hoping it was going to come uh, for September the 11th. Um, let me just flatten this out a bit. Okay, it is the Twin Towers with the American flag wrapped around it. Um, we were in America when this all happened. Um, and it's something, oh, I've got it upside down. <laughs> uh, put it the right way around, Liz, it will help. Uh, yeah, and it's something that will stay with me forever, that event. I'm sure it will for a lot of people as well. I know everybody says, where were you when it happened? Uh, and yeah, we were in America and we watched it live happening on the television. And yeah, I just wanted something... To mark it, I suppose. Um, it's 20 years now. 
so yeah it was just a bit poignant this one i just thought yeah i'm gonna have to have that one um so yeah i'll maybe tell you about uh, it another time I, I won't go into it on this one on this video because this video is long enough but yeah so that's the twin towers and it's like a full coverage but not a full drill as it were they're not right up to one another it's like one of those paintings where it's got all the little different sizes in to make it full covered um but not actually lined up with one another so this one doesn't look like a cross stitch kit shall we say i think some um of your diamond paintings when you've done them do look like a cross stitch kit but yeah i just thought yeah when i saw that i said to hubby shall i get this one and he said oh yeah and we'll get that framed and we will put that up as a mark of respect um as i say we have got american cousins and uh, yeah so that's that one right let's have a look at these girls this one's 30 by 40 again oops same tool kit so we're very consistent with tool kits uh we've got legends top and bottom as well so you can see your different key codes nine colors my other hope was as well that because this is something close to our hearts that hubby might actually have a go at doing this one but i will get him into diamond painting eventually i have got quite a few family members doing it now um so, yeah, so we have silver stars and nice lilac stars and half sphere blue and then some more half sphere a uh, slightly smaller blue white ab's they're aurora borealis coated uh, it just means it's an extra coating to give it a bit more sparkle and we have red silver is standard blue look at all that blue gosh are they all the same color yeah oh no that one's a slightly lighter color and then we have three bags of your deep blue color so yeah they're going to be all the background but i just thought that's just my little tribute to the World Trade Centres and what a terrible day that was. Okay, I'm not going to dwell on anything negative. Um, I don't want to. Uh... Okay, so let's move on. Let's hope the next one's a bit happier. So I haven't opened these, so I don't know which order they're in. Um, but yeah. So as you can see, I've got quite a haul here. Let's have a look at the next one. Uh, oops, this one doesn't want to come out. It's very, very tight in this little packet. To be careful not to cut the canvas. A bit most of them do tend to have quite a, a big edge on them, so you're not actually going to cut through anything. Okay, so which one do we have now? Oh, okay. Right. So we've got an extra. I didn't order this one. <laughs> okay, thank you, Everyday Everyday E Deals. Um, I wonder if there was a promotion on. I know there was a promotion to get one free or something or so much off. Um, but yeah, they seem to have added an extra painting in for me that I didn't order. So that's the little thumbnail there. It's not. It's very. Oh, very very dark um but it looks like it's all flowers it's called flower so that gives me quite a good hint um same tool kit again I'll just see if i can flatten this out a bit i say i thought there was an extra one because i was counting nine parcels and i thought i've only ordered eight things this is very strange so after talking about something sad i've then got something extra I will um, send them a message and just check that they haven't made a mistake because I, you know, I don't want them to be out of pocket um, and make sure that they do know I've got an extra one and if needs be, I will pay for it. It isn't one that I would particularly order, but I mean, for them to take it back, it would cost more in postage, but you know, I'm quite willing to pay for it. Um, you know, it's one I will do. Okay, so it's got... 19 different colours this is a full drill full uh, the acrylic drills 
and well, lovely clear key codes. We've got one down to nine there, which is brilliant. So number one is number one and number nine is number nine. And then we start on alphabet letters. So all lovely and clear. The drill field, although dark, isn't bad. Uh, it will definitely need a light or a light pad to see it. Well, it will for me anyway. I wouldn't be able to do this without uh, some help on being able to make those um, symbols larger. Uh, yeah, that's that. Oh, I do apologise. It must be two o'clock. Um, we have a siren goes off. We have um, a, sort of like a cooling plant, a chemical plant nearby, and um, they have a, a siren goes off at two o'clock once a week. So yeah, <laughs> that's the siren going off. I must admit, when we first heard it, you think, "Oh no, what's happened?" But yeah. It just seems to happen to me all the time. Okay, whenever uh, I'm filming or doing something, things happen. But at least I know what time it is now. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. So, do we have DMC codes? No, we don't have any DMC codes. Oh, that's not good for 19 colours. Never mind. So, there's some very pretty colours in this. Look at this. We've got a pinky colour and a rosy pink colour, purple, like an orangey red, and some browns, and then like a, a wine colour, and a nice lemony colour, peachy pinky colour, another like browny wine colour, like a chestnutty colour, very dark brown, that looks like very dark blue. And then some more sort of beiges and browns, pinks, like chestnutty browny colour, and like a very mocha colour there, and a peach. So, yeah, some lovely colours on it. I say it's not one I ordered, but uh, yeah, we got an extra. <laughs> That's not happened to me before, but I will get in touch with them and uh, let them know. Okay, so we'll put that to one side. Right, you'll be pleased to know there is just two to go. So I hope uh, your coffee's not gone cold or you've not fallen asleep while watching this one. See if we can get into this one. This one seems quite a big one as well. It's right up to the edge of this little bag. Okay. Right, what's this one? Another 30 by 40. Oh yes, I remember. It's funny how it always comes back to you right at the end. <laughs> okay, a very stiff canvas again, this one. So they seem to go from fairly stiff to very stiff, these canvases. And this is some fairy mushrooms. And I ordered this one because I didn't actually know that these were a thing. These mushrooms do actually exist. I always thought they were just in fairy tales and things. Um, but yeah, we went on holiday to Scotland and uh, up to North Yorkshire. And these are actually real. You can find mushrooms that are red with the little white spots on. I was just amazed. And I was like in my 30s when I found <laughs> I always thought it was just fairy tales and you know just Disney and things like that that showed all these mushrooms with you know they just looked really fairy tale-ish but no they are actually based on a real mushroom so when I saw this one I thought I'll have to have this it's just so so pretty so gosh it's got 25 different gems in it so 25 different colours. All right, it's a full acrylic drill, this one. It's not a special. So again, exactly the same toolkit. Okay, let's have a look at these. We've got the nice package in this one, which is the grey and blue strip. And we do have DMC numbers on the canvas, which is brilliant. Again, the uh, letters on there are wonderful. So we've got one to seven, and uh, one to eight, and then nine starts at A and we go down to X. So that's great there. That's a really good key code there. 
really nice clear numbers um it is clear but again darkish colors so i'm gonna need help uh, with my eyesight doing this one i will be using my magnifier um, and i think possibly you know your light pad or whatever because they are quite dark colors but yeah that's that's really good it's got um oh that's odd i've not seen that before either i wonder if they're meant to do it all the way around we've got like um i'm thinking that's going to be whoops oh no it's all different it's k and f which f is like a grayish color and k is so we've got like a border up and down the sides so that's really odd we've got like a lighter border going up two sides i wonder if they meant to do it across the top as well so it was like an edge that's strange hmm. i'll have to do this one and see how it turns out and see what that looks like i've not seen that before i've seen sort of like where you miss the edges or it's got a colour all the way around the edge but never just down the two sides like two tram lines hmm. okay hey ho everyone's slightly different so let's have a look at these 25 colours wow oh right we've got a separate one there okay so where are we where's the start where's the start oh wrapped in there look right, there's no dmc codes on the drills just the uh, canvas number there oops can't see that can you <laughs> just the canvas number there okay so green and oh that's nearly a hot pink it's more of a red and an orange and a peach and a very pale green and a gray and is that 310 no there's no 310 in this so that's um a dark blue gray green an orangey red brown brown green blue brown sagey green very pale baby blue another sort of dark sage green a rosy color red uh, a pink and like a slaty color of blue and then lots of browns four different shades of browns and a cream oh, no oh, no b5 no no whites in this either so they're going to be cream these mm, that'll be interesting to do okay so that's that one i do like this one i do tend to order canvases that mean something to me i must be getting very sentimental in my older age <laughs> they're not always necessarily what i uh i like quite often it's something that tri triggers a memory and uh, yeah i'm going to be showing people pictures on my walls or in my portfolio saying well i bought this one because it reminded me of this <laughs> Okay, and this is the last one you may or may not be pleased to hear oh yes i just thought this was quite magnificent okay let's give them a bit of a squidge down because they're going to be need a real flatten um i think these actually may need ironing because there's some really big creases in these and with them being specials, you don't get the weight of the drills once you've done them, pressing them down. So we have a lion. And I just thought it was really different. I've got a few lions. Um, Leo is my star sign. Uh, my birthday is in July. So, yeah, I just thought all the different drills on this. Again, it says 30 by 30, but you're looking at about probably 24. 25 by 25 but that's okay i mean if you get those ikea frames they're 25 by 25 anyway but 11 different uh, gem shapes in this one what's that there is that a... oh look we've got a mark on the canvas or is that a part of the design it might be part of the design liz it does look a bit odd though the others all seem to be white okay never mind i mean this is another one actually that if you were careful you could cut around this and put it on the front of a card or use it as a decoration on something if you put it on a light shade that would look spectacular on a light shade with a light shining behind it once it's all blinged up oh ideas ideas just not enough hours in a day so again so we're very consistent on tool kits we're very consistent on canvases being thick to very thick <laughs> 
and uh, key cords at both sides. But yeah, I'm uh, quite impressed with these uh, everyday evils. Thank you very much. Okay, let's have a look at these grills. All oh, nice and sparkly. Look at these scissors there. Getting on the nerves now. Can't curling up. Don't curl. Right. Okay. Ooh, look at all these. Right, so we have a standard silver, uh, a palish gold, like a peachy gold, like a browny coppery colour, and then a deep brown, and another palish gold, like a honey colour, that one. And then in the slightly, la la la, slightly larger ones, put the teeth in straight, we have like an amber colour, and your brown colour, and then your gold in three different tones, like an orangey gold and a yellowy gold, and like a bit of a champagne gold there. So this is going to look really good when it's done. Okay, well, I hope you're always uh, impressed with these as I am. Um, including the free one that I didn't expect. I'll have a look. Maybe they had an offer on where they sent you a free gift if you spent so much. I don't know. So we have a lion. We have some mushrooms. We have this beautiful stag, which is just superb. I love that. I really do love that. It's a shame that the stag is so sort of plain, but maybe they didn't want to take it away from the trees. We have the Twin Towers, which again, I'm putting the wrong way up. I do apologise. And we have a little fun penguin with his big brother's hat on. <laughs> we have Home, which is what it's all about. And then we have, oops, our nice strawberry wreath. Then we started off, if you remember, <laughs> with our little light up Santa. So, well, I hope uh, you've enjoyed seeing all these. Thank you for staying with me, if you have done, uh, to see what I got. It's quite a huge haul, this one. And if you've enjoyed seeing these and you want to see more, if you press the like button to like it for me, and if you press the subscribe button uh, and the little bell next to it, it will uh, notify you when my next videos come up so you can see what we get up to next. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.